Day two of Commander's Training Camp is here, and we have got plenty of content coming your way as the official TV station of the Washington Commanders. We are your go-to outlet for everything burgundy and gold, bringing you access and exclusive content from every single day of camp. Adam Longo is out at Commander's Park in Ashburn. All right, Adam, how's the second day of school going? Looks like you're having fun out there. Uh, indeed, and you know, Simone, you know me. I, I'm more accustomed to being in a suit covering Congress than covering the commander. So this is this is all new to me, like it's new to a lot of the rookies who are coming out here. But despite the fact that we're not in Congress, that we are with the commanders, I did get to spend some time with the Senate today. I'm talking about Ben Senate. He is a rookie tight end who is from the Midwest, grew up in Iowa, went to Kansas State. This is one of the last guys who came off the practice field today, really putting in the reps trying to get in with this team, a second round draft pick. Uh, he's going to be learning from NFL veteran Zach Ertz, who is with his 12th year, but his 12th year in the league, but his first year here with the Washington Commanders. So we got into all that with his sound that we, uh, we had when we interviewed him. So here's a look inside today's Senate hearing. So listen, one of the last guys off the field, respect. Yeah, I appreciate that. You know, first year, got to be able to earn the trust from everybody, um, get that extra work. Yeah, that's kind of just what it takes to, to make it at this level. So it's something that all of those guys, um, we take very seriously. So mm -hmm. you, know, you come into here, Zach, obviously, you'll be able to potentially learn a lot from him, but uh -huh. you're both new to this team. Yeah. Can you take me through the dynamic just so far between you and him? Yeah, I mean, it's been great. Uh, the whole tight end room is awesome. Um, really close-knit group, and um, we're just continuing to help each other. Obviously, Zach being a guy who's been here 12th year, um, he's, he's been around the block a little bit. Uh, knows the ins and outs of this game, so uh, the the dynamic's been great. He's been super helpful, uh, bringing all of us along. Um, we got a, a fairly young tight end group as a whole, uh, so he's been able to really help us and and give us what he has and, and share that knowledge. So it's it's been a great dynamic. All right, so you see Ben Sennett there, just dripping in sweat. But I I, I went on to ask him, just. Not we know how physically taxing playing football can be, and he was out here for about an hour, 45 minutes on the practice field today. But how about how mentally taxing it could be? Because just because we don't see the players out on the practice field, that doesn't not mean that they're not working, right? They get here at 6:45 in the morning. They stay until seven at night. Outside of those roughly two hours that they're on the practice field, they're inside of the building watching tape, doing meetings with their position coaches, basically going to school over football and that's especially tough on these rookies because they have to absorb just so much information coming up at five o'clock chick hernandez will be back right here talking about that with head coach dan quinn about how you know don't judge this team right now on on the the, the lack i guess you could say of time that they're actually spending out doing the physical aspect of this job because right now at least the beginning of preseason it's much more mental and then Simone last thing tonight at 11 o'clock you're going to hear more uh, from uh, Tress Way who is the uh, longtime punter and former team captain at least team captain last year of this team talking about the excitement and the energy he feels I mean we are feeling this incredible vibe of positivity from everyone that we've been talking to rookies and veterans alike so we address that with him and he talks about you know he, he was very humble and saying, you know, after being in the league for what will now be his 11th season, he doesn't know how much longer he's going to be able to do this for, right? Because who gets to stay in the league? A very small percentage of players play that long, go up through their 11th season. So he's just saying, look, I am trying to have fun. I want to absorb everything I can. And he's convinced that this team is going to make a run and have fun doing it, Simone. It is fun to watch Quinn put them all through their paces, right? He's making them work for it, and you are highlighting that every single step of the way, and that's why the energy around this team is so contagious because we are watching them work day in and day out. Adam, thank you. We'll see you in a bit. And just a reminder that starting in just a few weeks that we will be airing five Commander shows with two of them produced in-house here at WUSA 9. Commander's Kickoff, hosted by Chick Hernandez and Wisdom Martin. That will be on Sundays at 11.30 a.m. And then I will join Chick Hernandez every Thursday at 7 p.m. for Commander's Weekly, where we show you all the ways the team is making a positive impact in the community.